Hey guys, Spina Dude here, and today we are taking a look at another Safari Limited figure for the hashtag Hawaii Safari campaign. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. So today, guys, we are continuing our look at some modern-day dinosaur figures with this guy. It is the Safari Limited Cassowary. A big thank you to Safari Limited for sending this figure out. I cannot wait to take a closer look at it. So without further ado, guys, let's dive into the review. Before we take a closer look at the figure, here are a few quick facts about the cassowary itself. Cassowarius cassowarius, or the cassowary, is the third tallest and second heaviest living bird, smaller only to the ostrich and the emu. Being flightless, its prehistoric looking appearance and features make it look like a true dinosaur, with its bright blue scaly skin, large head crest, and feathered body. The cassowary has been known for violently kicking and injuring humans and animals with their immensely powerful legs. Their second toe possesses a razor-sharp elongated claw, similar to the sickle claws seen on some of their prehistoric relatives, the dromaeosaurs. So without further ado guys, let's start taking a closer look at this amazing living dinosaur. So here is the Safari Limited Cassowary. The cassowary has to be one of my favorite birds that's alive today, simply for looking so prehistoric. Now I believe this figure was released back in 2016, and for first impressions, this replica looks great. Detail-wise, this cassowary is great. The scaly neck has wonderful details, as well as the feet, which have some really nice wrinkles and folds towards the toes. And the feathered body has wonderful sculpt work, especially with the direction the feathers are flowing. From the top, you can see how the feathers are split down both sides of the animal and flow down nicely. Now this bird actually has tiny wings in real life that are tucked into the sides of the body. And the interesting thing about these wings is that they are actually tipped with long spiny quills. These long sharp quills actually remind me of one of the cassowary's distant relatives, the Therizinosaurus. Now because of this figure's pose and because it is so small, these tiny wings are not present as you can see, but they would be hard to see anyway amongst the dark feathers. Here you can see a closer look at the primitive looking head of this cassowary. You can see the beak is detailed nicely with the nostrils there and the eye is done in a brown color and you can see the little area where the ear would be on the back of the head. You can also see the tall crest on top of the bird's head here. Now in real life, this crest is hollow and is used for helping the animal navigate through its environment. Cassowaries extend their neck and hold their crest in front of them while running to push dense underbrush out of their way. The shape of this crest and the beak actually reminds me of Oviraptorosaurs, particularly a species called Chirostenodes. Studying the behavior in birds like the cassowary can help give us insight into how their relatives, the dinosaurs, behaved when they were alive. For example, how dinosaurs like Chirostenodes may have used their crest. Also on the feet of the cassowary, you can see the elongated razor sharp claw on the second toe used for kicking. This definitely reminds me of dromaeosaurids, such as Velociraptor with their sickle shaped talons. The colors on this figure are really spot on with the actual animal. This figure is based off of the southern cassowary. I can tell because of the black feathered body, bright blue scaly skin with fleshy colored throat waddles, some whitish markings on the back and sides of the head, and some pinkish markings on the back of the neck, which can be orange and purple in real life as well. Another cool fact about this bird is that the bright blue skin actually covers the entire body. If you were to remove all of the bird's black feathers, you would basically have a bright blue scaly dinosaur, which is pretty cool. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but the feathers actually have some glitter in the paint here, giving them a shiny look, just like the glossy feathers of the cassowary. Now the pose on this figure is simple, but it's nice. You can see the bird is in a relaxed stance here, but I thought I would note that this isn't a very stable pose. This figure can tip over very easily, so I would be careful if you're displaying it from a high shelf. 
All right, so for my overall thoughts on this figure, I think it's great. The details and the color scheme are really spot on with the actual animal, and it's great seeing Safari bring more attention to this incredible living dinosaur. So great job, Safari Limited. You have done phenomenal work making the cassowary. So you're probably wondering just how big this figure is, so Marvin, bring out the ruler. Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this cassowary a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the tail feathers all the way to the tip of the beak, we are looking at about three inches. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the head crest there, we are looking at about three and three quarter inches. For comparison, here is the Safari Limited Cassowary next to the Safari Limited Harpy Eagle. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Although out of scale, both of these figures have nice details and look good on display. Up next for comparison, here is the Safari Limited Cassowary next to the Safari Limited Anhinga. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. These figures look great with each other. I like the glossy black feathers on both and the nice details. And finally for comparison, here is the Safari Limited Cassowary next to the Safari Limited Feathered Velociraptor. If you want to see the review for this figure, link will be down below in the description. Next to each other, you can see the similarities in both these distant relatives, especially with the elongated claws on both the animal's feet. Well there we go guys, that was today's look at the Safari Limited Cassowary. I think this figure is great. The Cassowary is one of my favorite species of birds and I definitely recommend adding this guy to your collection. So if you guys want to get this figure for yourself, head on over to www.safarilimited.com. Also be sure to check out their other awesome products while you're there. And if you guys want to learn more about the Hashtag Howie Safari campaign, go check out Safari's Facebook page and other social media. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this model. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye